Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Really quick, wanted to shout out all of our subscribers. We just hit 25,000 subscribers over this past week, which is absolutely insane. So thank you so much for everyone who's shown support over the past couple of years. And it really inspires us to keep making valuable educational economic content for you to enjoy. With that said, in this video, we'll be looking at what types of tools the central bank and governments use to implement expansionary and contractionary policy. With that said, let's get into it. So very quickly, in this video, we want to look at two types of policies, expansionary policy and contractionary policy, but then we want to look at how the central bank, which implements monetary policy, and the government, which implements fiscal policy, differ in their approach to utilize expansionary or contractionary policy. Let's start with expansionary policy. Well, we know that monetary policy is implemented by the central bank, and we know that the tool they use is interest rates. So for expansionary policy, the monetary policy move would be to lower interest rates. Why is this? Well, recall expansionary policies when we want the economy to grow and we're really promoting economic growth and people to spend and demand more. If you lower interest rates, two things will happen. One, people are willing to save less because they're earning lower interest on their savings and therefore they would rather spend their money. And two, it's easier to afford loans, in which case you can take loans out and spend your money that way. So there's two effects that happen when you lower interest rates, both of which encourage people to spend more money and save less money, which really promotes economic growth. So what can the government do? using fiscal policy to promote expansionary policy? Well, first off, they could increase government spending. If government spending increases, then total GDP will increase, but there will also be societal outcomes which benefit from government spending, like additional social programs or government transfers being increased so that there's more money in the economy. The other thing that the government could do to grow the economy in expansionary policy is lower taxes. If you have lower taxes, then you're more incentivized to spend your money, but also your real income will inevitably be higher. If you have a higher real income, then you have more propensity to consume, and that's how that works. But what about the flip side? How do monetary policy and fiscal policy relate to contractionary times when you're trying to control inflation and price stability? Well, let's take a look at monetary policy. In this case, to manage inflation, we would raise the interest rate. This discourages people from spending because they should be putting their money in a bank and earning interest on it. And it makes borrowing money more expensive so people aren't as inclined to take out loans and spend money. So this has the effect of slowing down demand and slowing down spending, which is a contractionary policy, all while just manipulating the interest rates. But what about the government or fiscal side of things? Well, they're going to decrease government spending, so they're going to lower the amount that they spend in the economy, which will thereby lower GDP and transfers into social programs. At the same time, they may implement an increase in taxes because they want to disincentivize people from spending money and increasing taxes lowers your real income. We have other videos on the channel which explain expansionary and contractionary policy as well as monetary versus fiscal policy. So in conjunction with this video, if you have any other questions about those types of policies, feel free to check out one of those other videos. With that said, if you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comments section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.